Do you see them? Hold on, go back down. No. You're trying to leave me. What are you talking about? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> you. Sails up. You <laughs> there we go. I'll see you never, loser. Oh, Frick. <laughs> oh, you some bitch. <laughs> Welcome back to Game Taste. This video is going to be a bit different, so consider yourself warned. I fucking hate Atlas and everything the developer behind it stands for. And here's a quick negatively oriented three minute review and video essay for your pleasure. Which means that if you're a pansy, you've got the privilege to fuck right off of this video right now if you're here for the debate. If you have a um, valuable input, go ahead and share it with me, but please don't brainlessly hate. Now, this is what happens when somebody tries something too ambitious in the world of video gaming, because this is for sure too ambitious. So, this steamy, half-baked pirate simulator is completely covered by piles of shit due to some very competent developers in the art of shitting, known as Instinct Games as well as Grape Shot Games, that appear to be exceptionally skilled in the art of brutally forcing shotgun diarrhea down your throat. They're lying, they overcharge, they far from deliver what they promise, and you're likely supporting them. That's bad. There's been delays and delays on what could appear to almost literally be a reskin on an already existing game, except that this so-called reskin is actually crappier than the main game. In this one, you get the whole package. You get a shit ton of rubber banding online, which literally stops you from playing the game, and that's after you've waited half a day to get online. Then, you get the devs that are completely careless in regards to the players, it appears. Even the arc menus can be found in the actual game, which goes to show how much effort these guys actually put into the game. I'm even wondering, hmm, should I bring up the early access point, or should I start with the god-awful server issues they have? There is graphic fuckery just about everywhere in the game, with render issues, Bethesda exceeding clipping issues, and the fact that some reused assets aren't even reskinned even if the game is like branded by a reskin by us. And remember the rubber banding I mentioned? Good luck trying to progress when the birds you want to kill look like something out of a stuck VHS tape. Grapeshot is literally being so ignorant it feels like they're doing an eschete on us, just full on ignorant so much that it's absolutely glorious IMO. I don't even have some quick points for this one, just get a fucking refund if you bought Atlas. Um, so that's it boys and grills, there really isn't any more to this video because this, this game just... I mean, you'll, you'll notice that for yourself, so bye.